In this episode of Horse Shelter Heroes, we're at the auction rescuing precious lives out of the slaughter pipeline. A whole lot happens in this episode and we get a new building delivered to our shelter. You're not gonna wanna miss a single minute of Horse Shelter Heroes. This morning, the horses that we rescued at the last auction are coming out of quarantine, so we're gonna be doing their weight. It's gonna be a pretty busy day, and they're coming out of quarantine, and that means we're gonna be rescuing more horses from auction this week. He weighs a whopping 260 pounds. I'm glad I don't weigh that much. <laughs> Yep, I thought so. That is the way you train a donkey. <laughs> he says, swallow, don't spit it out. Hey guys. Sarah's on cleanup duty. Oh, it's not that bad, Sarah. Wow, Cecil, you put on some weight, buddy. Yes, I will wait. If you weigh 560 pounds, that's the most popcorn I've ever <laughs> seen weigh. You said you're a sweet boy. We just finished the donkeys, now we're gonna bring the horses up. How's the worming going? It's interesting. Apparently this horse wants to be dressed in it. Yeah. Wanted some makeup too. Oh my goodness! She's still, oh, seriously child? Did you get warmer on your nose? I thought I was wiping my nose when I was actually wiping things onto my nose. Where are we going, Sarah? We are going to go find Misty and Lakota. They're out in the 10 acres somewhere. So, we're going to go find them. Once Jesse tells me which way to go. They're all the way down here by the fence. I don't only film, I also drive the side by side too. I'm the taxi driver. <laughs> Look at him, he is so fat, he's so funny. Three hundred and thirty pounds, Misty girl. <laughs> she likes that. I guess she likes the warmer, huh? I guess so. A little bit, maybe. Curry's blind, so Jesse's just taking it easy with him, um, letting him know that it's okay. We just want to get his weight, so um, we're just gonna put him in there, get his weight, and then he did um, when he came in. You guys may have may remember that he had a cut above his eye. Well, it healed so nicely, but sadly sometime over the weekend, he must have busted it and it's um, open again. So we're gonna put some medicine on it as well. I'm trying to put some ointment on his eye and then swat around it to help with the drainage and the flies. So we're all done up here in quarantine and we're about to run the horses down.
So Doc finally, finally, took a vacation. So Dr. Myers is filling in for him today. With her, take it slow and just rub her a lot before you poke her. She does have a brand, by the way. Oh, goody. She's a bucking horse, I'm pretty sure. Are you sure. saying that because I don't go slow? <laughs> well, Doc doesn't go slow. Doc just jumps right in. She doesn't like touch, but she's friendly. Want sniffs? She says, no, I don't want to No, don't that. touch my face. Come on. Asta, be nice. Brandy is getting her Coggins done today. She's not liking it too much, poor thing. But Doc is successful. Yeah. We're done down here and we're gonna go up to quarantine and check on a few. We're back up in quarantine for the second time today. Not quite sure how many times we're gonna keep coming up here, but it's a quarantine day. And I don't think she's really halter trained either. Ain't no mu she's she's that thin, there ain't no muscle there, so you're able to see that full outline of that knee. Where on a normal you wouldn't. Her last one that it kinda looks like she pops a little bit. Like she she takes and it could just be a lack of muscle. We can, we have to get her in there to touch her. Probably. Easy girl. It just doesn't look that. It it pops. But this being prominent stuff, just because she don't have any muscle there, and she's keeping the weight off, she's keeping it bent to protect it. How she moves and stuff, she looks like she's probably, you know, either sprained that knee or torn some of that meniscus out. Um, you want to take her temperature in the morning and text me? No coughing or anything. They can get a health check if she's well then. All right, we're gonna go check on Zena. I don't remember x-raying it. He x-rayed it right after she came in. Yeah, I wasn't here that week. Yeah. Said it looked fine. Um, that joint works really well. Like, she'll kind of end up just not even mm -hmm. working, so working, stepping on it. Mm -hmm. I almost feel like that leg is shorter than this one. When she's standing or she just doesn't want to put weight on it. I'm really worried about Zena. Her leg just isn't doing well and she's not using it and I'm I'm pretty concerned about her. Hopefully we can we can try to figure out some way to help her. We have been saving for this barn and planning for this barn and today it's finally delivered. Uh, we're so excited and um, it came on two semis, so that's that's exciting. We've never had a barn delivered on two semis before. So the barn is going to be built, uh, well this truck is behind me, but behind the truck is the pad where the barn's going to get built. And we already had that installed, so now the barn can be built and this is going to be our vet and treatment barn. So it's going to be very important to have this barn over the winter time and a special place where Doc can work, rain or shine. Uh, so we're just super excited. unloaded I was a little concerned because they weren't moving that and I was gonna have to go say hey you got to move that you can't leave that in the driveway and uh, thankfully he's moving it before I had to go tell him he had to hi hey. so they say when it rains it pours and it's not raining today it's actually hot and I've been out there for a couple hours trying to get the trucks and trailers ready to go to the auction yeah um, how's, how's fundraising going 
fundraising's going. I mean, I'm still trying to work on more posts to mm -hmm. post up, but what's what's happening with oh, the trailers? Well, so I noticed last time we pulled the uh, little trailer with our truck, the lights weren't working. So I got to investigating that and underneath the bumper of our truck, there's another trailer plug and that one was unplugged. So that was just, you know, ridiculous. Did you, did you find that. that after you redid all the wiring on the trailer or before? Uh, before. So got that working and then Travis took the big red up to the new trailer, which new trailers, their wiring always works. That's the advantage of a new trailer. And the uh, running lights weren't working. That's like when you turn on the oh, headlights, yeah. all the lights yeah. weren't working. Check the fuses, found out the person that owned big red before us put the wrong size fuse in and that could have fried all the wiring in the whole truck. Ouch. So I was a little worried about that. Um, went to the back, still couldn't figure out, put the right fuse in, had power going through the fuse, so I knew it was after that. Went to the back, tested everything out, got, uh, finally had to crawl underneath Big Red and there's a plug be under the bumper and it was, I unplugged it, plugged it back in and everything worked, so. Oh Same my. problem, both different trucks. Oh it's my. ridiculous, but, but everything's working. working. So we are off to the auction. We're pulling the horse trailer. Uh, what are we, how many horses do you think we're gonna get tonight? I'm guessing 20 to 23. 20 to 23. Our goal is 20, so we'll see what happens. Uh, it's gonna be a long uh, day. Usually the auction, we're working till midnight usually, trying to help these animals, but we'll save as many as we can. We are just getting on I-40, which means um, we are closer to Cookville. Like 40 than minutes, 45 than minutes. We were before. Or we got stopping at gas. We got so. stopping at gas. The owner of the auction has always been very gracious to us. He's, he's, you know, most, most people that run auctions are kind of rough to horse rescuers, and he's always been very, very nice to us. And actually, um, has told us that he really, really appreciates that, you know, we come in and, and we do rescue these horses. He knows it's completely legal for people to purchase horses for slaughter. So these folks, they're usually sitting out here uh, wanting to buy horses before they go on the sale. Then they'll ride them and try to get a higher price. I'm gonna turn this around so you can kind of see, see what it's yeah. looking like. Um, we're gonna turn off the cameras now because uh, in respect of the auction owner, he is not really keen on having video footage taken while the auction's going. Um, he did allow us to take cameras in uh, for one auction and you can watch that in season one, episode five of Horse Rescue Heroes. We rescued 27 horses tonight, including this one. And in fact, all of these horses in here and uh, we spent almost $14,000, but I know you guys are gonna help us out. We're, we're gonna need some donations to help care for them. This poor horse is so pretty. 27 horses rescued tonight. That is a huge number, and we couldn't do it without your support, so thank you guys so much. It's, it's almost midnight, and our rescue staff is exhausted. We're gonna get a few hours of sleep, get these guys loaded up in the morning and back to the shelter where our veterinarian team and intake staff are gonna be waiting. Hopefully this poor guy is gonna be okay. It's hard to say, he's a body score of about between a two and a one, he's really skinny. And uh, just thank you guys so much. 27 horses saved, it was a great auction night. But again, we spent almost $14,000 just rescuing them and we can really use some help, so please donate right now. Twenty-seven horses saved last night. We gotta yeah. go uh, do the intake process, take some uh, pictures of them, get them loaded up and back to the shelter. I have a problem because my phone didn't charge last night, so I'm charge it. Oh dear. Into the auction this morning. 27 horses to 27 horses to load up and get on the road. So it's a really good auction rescue. It's gonna be busy but it's um oh let's see there's big red in front of us. Everyone, we're here at the auction this morning and we are just getting ready to head in and get uh, all the horses intaked and their photos done and then we'll be loading them up 
into our trailers and heading back to the shelter. It's gonna be a very busy day. Uh, I just wanted to thank everyone so much for your support that made this auction rescue possible. We couldn't have done it without you. I have way too many cords this morning. It's my little tripod for my, my phone. My phone, battery backup because my phone didn't charge last night. Um, headphones so I make sure my audio is working through my recording device that I plug in, my wireless one, so yeah, I'm a bit of a mess this morning. Yes, he is, he is. He's, he a, is he's a, a full, boy. he's a full blown Jack. So this guy's got some really bad hooves, you can see here. It's the uh, male donkey. And he's uh, if you look at this hoof over here, it's really got some issues. So the secret to my hair, everyone asks about my hair, and um, horse water trough does magic for hair. So that's what I'm gonna do. Anytime my hair gets a little undehydrated, I rehydrate with water troughs if they're if they're nearby. So get some water for my hair rehydrated. Tell you what, I should go into the uh, start a side business to um, help fund the organization of a special horse water trough to enhance your hair. Horse water trough hair stuff. So anyways, now my hair is great. We're just uh, getting auction tags coming over here. So hopefully we can see them better. 29 is not ours. 29 is not. Hey, beautifuls. You're gonna be okay. This is one of the horses we rescued and he's so awesome. All right, we found um, most of the horses. So we've got the team ready and we're gonna be bringing the horses through. I'll be taking photos of each horse. Angela will be taking notes. We've got one, the first horse right there. I think she's fallen in love. We need to get busy and get these horses intaked here and on the road. That is such a nice horse. So beautiful. If you can pull his head that way, the lighting's just really harsh right now. There we go. So I was trying to throw a lead rope to Jason because he was over there and I don't have the best hand-eye coordination. Oh man, Justin's walking on top of the panel. Uh, and I threw it up on the roof, so he is gonna go up there and get it. What would we do without you, Justin? Fixing mama's mistakes. All right. Thank you. This poor baby is so skinny. This horse is extremely dehydrated. I pull the skin out and it just sits there. So it's very dehydrated. Just separated the mom and baby to get photos. Baby's four years old, but they're very, very bonded. She was very nice yesterday. Okay, now bring the baby and put her in here so they can be together and not feel stressed. Okay. Right. I'm gonna give her some sin chill. She's not too wild about it. Come on. This is the mom. That's the four-year-old baby. They've never been apart, so. Um, She's very scared not being with her mom. Open it up and get her pictures. It's all right, your mom is right there. See, your mama is right there. I get the horses out of the pens and I get a halter and lead rope on them if they're trained and um, I'm able to do that. And then I get them over there for Keith and Tawny and Angela to do the process they do. And then we put them in a pen together where they're happy, where they're getting along. Then they're loaded up and transported to our shelter. <laughs> this horse is, uh, limping pretty bad when it walks we'll get x-rays and determine what's happening hopefully it's just an abscess horses get abscesses and uh, they can limp like that and everything's fine we just got to clear up the abscess so hopefully that's what it is mm -hmm. 
All right, we're giving this horse sun chill. Just make him a little more comfortable and relaxed. They go through a lot here at the auctions and we just want them to be chill. So we give them sun chill. So supposedly the, the mule and its mom back there are a driving team and uh, they've never been apart. Is it your mama? We're bringing your mama. We have two mama baby sets this time. Adult babies, that's the mule. She's the baby and this is the mom. Uh, you love your mommy? Yeah. This is our first trailer load of horses. They're all getting along well. So we're gonna move them into another pen and then uh, we'll do more intakes. We have a big lick horse here. Um, you can actually see over the course of time where the hair actually turned white from having so much chemicals put on its pasterns. Um, you can go ahead and move him over. He has a bit of a hard time walking. They, uh, there's so much weight put on the back legs and his tail's been cut. That's why he's holding it like that. The tendon, they cut the tendon and the tail for shows. One thing I think that is just really sad with the whole big lick thing that happens with horses is the racing industry acknowledges we have a problem. Horses that, you know, are done racing, a lot of them do end up in really bad places. And, and you know, um, the big lick, Tennessee walking horse, the industry as a whole, the people that are in it say, oh, our horses are never abused. They're never, end up in bad places. When they're done showing, we retire them, we love them. And I always ask myself, why am I rescuing these big lick horses at these auctions? Over and over again, and nobody in the big lick industry will come out and say, wow, we have a problem, we need to clean up our industry, and the horse's welfare needs to be the top priority because they're beautiful animals, and they are so, they have such a beautiful natural gait they don't need to be abused to make an artificial gate. And, and then when their show days are over, we find them here. I have another uh, big lick horse here, barely use its hind end. Um, they, they train these horses when they're so young, their tendons and legs and everything are developing and they just literally, their bodies fall apart. They can't handle it. Easy girl, easy. This horse, I mean, it can't even walk straight. It can't control its hind end. It's so sad to see horses like this. I'm here, uh, we're doing auction intake and I'm doing the video for the process. So I've been filming horses here and there's a lot of them that are really hurt and sad. And makes us sad and we just wish that they didn't go through the uh, slaughter pipeline. We got a donkey here. This is a jack donkey. He has a small umbilical hernia, it looks like. Um, hey, buddy. It actually looks like he might be gelded. Hey, bud. How are you? Um, looks gelded, but um, we'll have the vet check. But he does, he does have a hernia. Small hernia, it looks like. All right, what's what's next? So the next horse is it's a as far as I know, unhandled stallion. He has a halter and a lead rope dragging, which usually means they put the halter and lead rope on and couldn't get him off. And it, it, they're big, but you know he's uh, when you walk up to him, he puts his ears back, turns towards you. He's not wanting human interaction at this point in time. So we're gonna just do everything we can to be as safe as possible. Just avoiding being kicked. <clears throat> oh, they couldn't remember which horses we got. And I walked back to her, I'm like, it's this one and that one and that one. Have a memory for horses, I guess. What do you know? Tawny knows best. So this is a beautiful quarter horse. She is halter trained. Um, 
she has shoes on all the way around. She um, supposed to be a barrel horse, supposed to run the pattern amazingly well. We've gotten all the horses sorted out and their intakes done and now we just gotta load them up and hit the road. Just about ready to load up the horses. Uh, we're just waiting for the transporter. He's, he's got some stuff he's doing. And as soon as he's ready, we'll get him loaded up. But until then, we're gonna take a break, drink some water. There they go. First trailer is on the road. Now we got the other two trailers to load up. We'll get these guys back to the shelter. There were two uh, little critters here at the auction that um, didn't have a place to go. They didn't sell last night. And so we arranged uh, with the auction owner, he was able to reach out to the owner of these little guys and um, they're gonna come with us now. So we got them both for $200 total price. So I'm happy about that. They're coming with us. All right, we're gonna be loading up the uh, little guys. So instead of 27, we rescued 29 this time. So let's run away to far away places. Escape from this life we have no. Your eyes are new worlds to discover. Your heart is the place I call home. Whoa. headed back to get the stallion with the mare. We're gonna run them down together and load them separately uh, from the other horses just because they get along really well and we wanna keep them traveling well together. So we typically don't transport a mare with the stallion, but we believe the mare is probably his mom and they've been together for a really long time, so we don't wanna separate them. So this pen is our more critical horses. They're more weak. This one's having Come breathing on, problems. Yeah. We're just gonna on. get them loaded up separately. Come on guys, we're gonna take you out. Come on around. There you go. Trailer ride to safety. This nice poor horse on. can barely walk. Um, the whole, her whole hind end just yeah. flops around. It's terrible. And this one's so skinny. Come on, babies. There they go. Bye, guys. All right, so we are headed back to the shelter. Uh, we're gonna be on the road. I'm gonna be getting all the information back to our intake team and we'll be posting up updates as we can. Please understand we get extremely busy when we uh, get back to the, the shelter. Uh, it's all hands on deck and we post up updates as we can, uh, but we will post up an update this evening. We will be asking for name suggestions on our Facebook page, so definitely check that out. I'll be getting those up as soon as I can. Unload. First order of business. Clean the table. Love has always been the kind of thing that knocked me off my feet. Until you came and picked me up, I never really understood what people meant by wait and see. But now I'm seeing all the things that we could be. Oh, you. Tell me why love can't always be this easy time Seems to stand still when you're standing near me I've spent my whole life second guessing 
The horses in this back part of our trailer are the most critical ones, so we're gonna get them unloaded and um, get them seen by the vet. There may be some days when things don't go exactly how we plan, but I'll always be right there to hold you. I promise that I'm gonna love you as long as I Almost like she's got some nerve damage in that in that back right. This, she's probably a chronic heaves heaves horse. Uh, why she's breathing so bad in this hot weather's made it a lot worse. Yeah. Uh, I think I think the best thing for her is to put her to sleep. I don't think. We're just getting uh, Mr. Donkey out. We had to unload him separately because he is all boy and we don't want him getting in with the girls or the mares, so. No, no, just, just wait. No, 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 stay there. Stay there, no, stay. You get to come out now. It's so sad, we rescued him. I looked at his feet and I was like, you know, there's, there's some really bad problems in there, and then the x-ray showed that his coffin bone is basically totally deteriorating. That's very painful. So we're gonna give him a good bucket of grain and say goodbye. I wish, I wish things could be different. So we're just giving him some loves before he gets the last act of kindness. So sweet. I'm glad that we were able to save him and he didn't end up on a slaughter truck for days. I go 15. 15, 15. Watch out, is it actually set? Okay, it falls down half the time. She's not food motivated or wasn't in the shoot. Come on. This horse has probably never been led before. She's doing a really good job. And she's calm. Come on, she just baby. doesn't know what, don't, don't put pressure on her what she's supposed to be doing. Come on. There we go. So to check a horse for lameness, sometimes the vet will have a horse handler trot the horse to see how it moves. How'd he look to you? He looks good. He looks good. So what do you think? When you x-ray it and look at it, see what it looks like. Yeah, weird angle, but don't bite me. 30. <laughs> oh. Flying red eye. Flying red eye. This pony is the one we were able to get after the auction, and he is a stallion. Um, so we're gonna get him gelded. He is also blind in one eye, so uh, he's getting sleepy right now. 
and then uh, hopefully he'll get his gelding operation. Yeah, it's a dark bay. So this little pony has got a problem with the leg here. It basically bows outward and has a hard time walking on it. So we'll get some x-rays and see what what's it, it's looking like in there. Two big teeth on yep. the top, so two coming yep. three. <laughs> I think he must have broken it at one mm -hmm. point. Probably messed with the tendons too, but yeah. he, he had broke it probably when he was young. So with him having an old old fracture of that leg, you know, as he gets older, the arthritis and stuff is gonna be, be heavy and he'll probably get it at a younger, younger age than normal. Uh, it's just gonna be a lot of pain for him in the future. Well, I realized I have a thing for getting three, bit. 300, not kicked. So <laughs> now I'm nervous. One of the horses that we rescued has a microchip and I'm searching, trying to figure out who she is. Eleven twenty. Seventeen two. He's a very nice horse. No. You painted me this. I didn't see much of that. They like his ears touched. When I was giving him pin chill, he was, he was trying to no, he take the whole tube. He made it, yeah. Yep. Grab the tube and eat it up. Good stuff, like, huh? Yum, yums. Here's a boy. Seventeen. We're assigning numbers to horses and we hit number 600 for the year, so that's pretty exciting. So we've rescued over 600 horses this year, rescued, sheltered, and protected. So that's all because of y'all and your support. Uh, so he didn't have any rotation of his coffin bone on x-ray, so just needs a good hoof trim. So on his um, upper right, he's got a diastema between that last and next to last molar. So we floated his teeth. Um, he's dropping quite a bit of grain when he um, was out here. We we're feeding him a little bit. and uh, He's got um, quite a bit of points, a little bit of wave mouth, meaning that his teeth kind of have a nice little wave to it, not completely even. Um, and he's got some gaps between some, so we'll have to watch it and make sure you don't get uh, food pockets and stuff. There's my 13. I was really hoping she had an abscess and it was something we could fix, but not this time. She has gotten all slobbery over my arm. She, for some reason, thinks this is the greatest thing ever. You making me all gross, girl? Really? Arms. We're about to palpate her. Oh, okay, you might want to sedate her, I don't know. Okay, does that taste funny? Oh, yep, I'd sedate her. They're gonna try to palpate her to see if she's pregnant. That didn't go very well, so now she's getting a um, shot. I'll make her a little less, um, high. yeah, just a little calmer. We just need calm from her. She has to, she has to, uh, she's high maintenance. She's drooling all over the place. She has to be right next to this horse and some, some drugs will help her out. She's sedated now, she's all relaxed. This is her buddy who got his teeth done. He's still sedated, so life is good now. They're, they're both uh, calm and easygoing, which is much better than what she was before, huh? It's cute. I had worm, or um, fly spray up my nose. But, um, She's getting palpated to see if she's pregnant. 
She's sedated, so she's comfortable. Um, we'll know here in a minute. No baby, that's a good thing. So she's not pregnant. She probably just has a, a bit of a worm belly. Uh, her belly looks really big, but she's still a little ribby and, and stuff. So she'll get everything she needs, all the wormer, all that good stuff. She's two coming three. Yeah. Three. Uh, so she's got a pretty severe respiratory. Sounds. Hold him up. <laughs> 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 They're giving him IV fluids because he's extremely dehydrated and we need to get his uh, fluid levels up. This is the mama. I'm, she's got a lot of health problems. The left front hoof, she doesn't even really walk good on it. Blind in the left eye, most likely chronic uveitis or moon blindness, also known as. Um, chances of her getting it in the right eye is high. Left eye, and then its right eye wasn't as swollen at the auction, but you could tell it, it had its eye had gotten bonked. It's really swollen now. We got a big gash on that right side. Uh, no, above, on the eyelid. Right above it. This horse is the most awesome horse at the auction. He was just a saint with all the intake, and he's just the sweetest. This is multitasking at its finest. We call it, what age did you call him? 34. Thirty plus. Line this in both eyes on this one. Well, there's not a lot of good teeth in there. No, but. she's older than dirt. So he's been on fluids for a while. He's still really dehydrated. The skin just sits there, but not quite as much as it did when we were at the auction. This horse is extremely dehydrated. I pull the skin out and it's there. And now, I mean, it's it's still sitting there, but it's not as, as I mean, it used to be out like that, so. Yeah, this one yeah. how old is she for? I think she's 40. She looks old. <laughs> She what about this with her age too? Maddie. She wants an extra eighteen. Yeah. Not fluid. Probably an abscess that hardened up or scar tissue. Um, it's not fluid. <laughs> For the post, what do we want is like the main post, the main photo, that one? Uh, or that one? Hmm, I think I like the, the one right before that. That one? Yeah. Okay. Definitely perking up, getting some food for him. Hi, baby, we're gonna get you some food. Mwah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Got that one done, now I'll go out on the outside. Boy, looks like a cut, boy. Cut, boy. Oh, spread it all out, would you? <laughs> yeah, it is. Oh, you've done a little bit better. Got some fluids in you, some grain. 
feeling a lot better, huh? Yeah. Sadly, therefore, that do require the last act of kindness. The donkey's coffin bone is just literally dissolving and it's extremely painful. So we are gonna have to say bye to him. Um, there's a pony with an old broken leg and it, it's having a really hard time walking and it, it's, it's young and the veterinarian just believes that it's, it's just gonna get worse and worse. And we don't want that suffering to continue. Another horse had severe arthritis um, and she could barely walk. The horse you saw at the auction that could barely walk, um, she, there was nothing we could do for her. Um, as soon as the veterinarian examined her, he said we need, to, we need to let her go now. So she was the first one humanely euthanized. I'm just thankful that these precious lives didn't end up on a slaughter truck and brutally killed in Mexico because that's just, it's horrific. There are some more horses on a watch list. Our vet's planning coming out and checking on them um, is whenever he has an opportunity just to make sure that they're gonna be okay. Uh, but we don't know what their outcome's gonna be. You like training? I like right? Arabs, they're smart. So he's had 4,500 mils of fluid and he's doing much better, so he gets to be put in the other barn with his friend. So I'm hoping this little guy can make it and get better. He's in really rough shape, but there's a little spark in his eye, so he's gonna try, I think. And I think a great name for him would be Pistol. A lot of Palominos get named Trigger, but I think he could be a Pistol if he gets better. Finally done, we took 29 horses today. Now we're just packing everything up and then we're gonna turn the horses loose in the field. Chloe's throwing Sorry. stuff at me. We're tired, we're exhausted. Um, our eye-hand coordination may not be the best at the end of such a long work day, but the horses are good and we're really happy about that. This thing is pretty awesome. It yeah. carries a lot of people and a lot of stuff. We're in comfort. Look at this. Jesse's just like, you know what? We are so done with Those today. Those are nasty. You're rude. Hey, excuse, excuse you. Excuse you. It's been a very long, exhausting day, but um, the horses are all settled down. They're eating. They're in their different barns and pastures, and that makes it all worth it. The mule is talking. At the end of an auction intake, everyone's feet is just so sore, like we just can't wait to get off of them. So uh, now that the horses are all settled in and happy, now we can call it a day. And uh, just thank you so much for your support making this auction rescue possible. You know, there's no way we could have done it without all of our amazing supporters. So thank you so much. What in the world is this thing for? Good morning. Uh, this is the ditch witch to run all the new self waterers. So, so wait, wait, what are we putting in? Uh, self waterers, heated, so they don't freeze in the winter. And it uh, automatically fills for the horses? Automatically fills for the horses, shuts itself off, so it don't constantly run. missed my camera by like a few inches. <laughs> Went well, pretty good. We got all of it dug and probably all three quarters of it laid down, the piping and the electric for all the waters. Um, and I ran out of glue. So. I'll get some more glue and maybe do some more tomorrow. See, our little Palomino doesn't oh, want to stay. Palomino. 
Okay. Makes sense of why it was not light. I mean, not heavy. Oh. She this box earlier. She's like, that's not heavy. I'm like, I'm like, it's not even heavy. I almost looked in it. I should have just looked in it. No. <laughs> that would have ruined it. It is Sarah's birthday today. And yes, it so. is. So I wish, wish Sarah a happy birthday, guys, in the well, comments. Thank you. Well, I'll we are going out. to put it on the floor because knowing me, I will dump it on the floor. Yeah. 